Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I'm uh, Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Priming the Pump Edition. That's right. All right, so another one in our series exploring Johnny Walker. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Walker, Beyond the Black. That's right, there you go. All right. So, um, you know, as part of, a, uh, as part of a, uh, a Priming the Pump that we did recently, mm -hmm. we looked at the black, we put it up against the, um, the Smoky Grouse, mm -hmm. and, you know, while, you know, we, you know, we took the black and we said, okay, well here, you know, this is a known whiskey, known commodity and yeah. everything. We're going to explore that a little bit more. <clears throat> and let's see what else Johnny Walker puts out there. Yeah. What we're finding out is like each of their whiskeys is very different and very unique. Yeah, and I think that took me by surprise. You know, I've had the red and I've had the black and I didn't think the black was that much of a it didn't sway that far away from the red. I mean, there's obviously some differences, but it's within the same ballpark. What's At, interesting is all the blends are, they use different distilleries mm -hmm. and different whiskeys to make all their blends. Um, and so we, uh, we, we just uh, did the blue, which surprised us. Yeah. And that was a very fun review to do. Yeah, it was. And um, and then we decided, well, we're gonna we're gonna go gravitate toward the green. Now we've heard some great things about the green. Yeah, and fortunately, they actually do divulge a little bit more about what's in the bottle, and I think that's what's really got our curiosity. Yeah, um, and uh, right here on the bottle, I mean, they tell you that this is a blend of a Talisker, Linkwood, Craigenmore, and Coila. Mm -hmm. Which and these are they're right up our alley. Yeah, absolutely, Coila is an Isla. Yeah. And the Talisker is an island, and um, mm -hmm. and uh, Craigenmore, I think, is uh, I think so. Is also, yeah. So there's a certain expectation that goes with that. Yeah, yeah. We're really, really excited to try this one. Now, I'm expecting this one's gonna be smoky, and oh, I would think so. Smoky, earthy, peaty. Now, this is there is something different about this. This is a blended malt, not a blended Scotch like the other ones we've had. So, so that means this is all single malts oh, wow. that have from different distilleries that have been blended together. Whereas a blended Scotch will have some grain whiskey in there along with some single malt. So it's a, it's a bit of a different animal. I'm really excited to try this one. Me too. I think out of um, and we have many Johnny Walkers now. Yes. Um, but I think this is the one I am most excited to try because I think this one's going to be the most up our alley. I'm thinking the same thing. Really curious to see how they pulled this one off. All right. Well, let's get into it. Yes. All right. And again, has a cork. No screw top here. Ooh, and a good cork at that. Yeah, for sure. Ooh. Mm. Nice. And similar color to what we've seen elsewhere. But you know, one thing about Johnny Walkers is there is consistency with them. Right. So it's very possible that they probably they they could add color to them. I could in see order it. to you maintain. Know, when you're blending like that, I imagine adding color becomes even more important because of the variability from distillery to distillery. I would think would be my guess too. Now this yeah. one is a forty. 43 percent wow ABV. okay so a yeah. little bit higher than what we've seen elsewhere yeah uh, the the black is 40 the yeah. uh, the okay. the blue is 41 mm -hmm. this one's 43 interesting oh. well okay i do have some expectations all right cool so uh and man that that one's thick that's a thick whiskey yeah wow yeah the legs are nice on that Very cool. I'm kind of glad I did a heavy pour on this one. Me too. All I'm right. not complaining. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that so, is an island whiskey. That is absolutely. So <laughs> I get a little smoke, a little bit of pea. Mm -hmm. That's that brine. I'm getting that brininess. Yeah. Wow. That um, takes balls. I got to give them credit. I mean, for a blend. I know. This. Wow. This that nose is amazing. So it's you know, we've had island whiskeys before from Isla and elsewhere where the nose is a little punchy. Mm -hmm. Um this one has all the same character and a lot of the same aromas, but they're just they're rounded off a little bit. A little softer. Yeah. Um yeah, the they they don't punch you in the nose, they kinda you know, just kinda roll in and yeah. linger around for a bit and and uh man. Wow. That, that smells amazing. I like that. 
That's cool. All right, dying of curiosity All right. here. Cheers. Cheers. There's a lot going on in there. Wow. I know. I'm impressed. I, I am too. Um, wow. wow. <laughs> okay. So, um, initially on the tongue, sweet and um, um, yeah. maybe a little fruity. And then the spice comes. And it's not like, like really punchy, you know, spice, but you get a little bit of barrel spice in there. It's like a nice heat. A nice warmth that comes in there and it hits you in a couple different ways so it hits me on the side of the tongue and then comes over the top and you know there's just enough peat and there's just enough smoke in that just a uh, oh yeah mm. this is not a peat bomb and i'm with mm -mm. mark the spice presents really nicely on this one so interesting there for me initially i get uh, a little bit of black pepper it's a really nice sweetness like a really deep caramel almost mm -hmm. and then in comes that peat and you get a little bit of smoke and that earthiness that goes with it what a well-rounded whiskey thoroughly impressed yeah it's uh it's like everything mm -hmm. in there belongs yeah so um and and you're not you you can pick out the individual components on that like i can pick out the peat i can pick out the smoke I could pick out the brine. I got the caramel. They got the apple, the, uh, the but like a red apple, like a sweet apple. Wow. And then the butter biscuit and um, vanilla cream. And you could pick out all these things, but none of them overshadows the other. Agreed. Yeah, well, we've seen in some cases, you know, complexity is a wonderful thing. But when all those flavors just kind of meld together, it's interesting but you can't pick out any individual notes. This one, yeah, absolutely. You can pick out each individual flavor in this whiskey. I am shocked. I, I, I knew, I, you know, well, I just felt in my gut we were gonna like this one. And I agree. My problem is I've had that feeling about whiskeys before and been wrong. I'm so glad I'm not wrong in this case. You know what I wanna do? Um, I wanna, I wanna, Put this up against the black. I think that's interesting. All right, so so we have a we have a little black that was part of a, a little multi pack of mm -hmm. uh, Johnny Walkers. It came with a blue and a gold and uh, an eighteen year, and um, we'll we'll be hitting the others soon. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to kind of go back to this and just see how because that one's also a little smoky yes. and a little bit of pe little peaty. Yep. But I think but it presents very different. I agree. No, very different animal. So I think I want to just put a little, just side by side, but I think I already know the answer on this. Oh yeah, I'm sure. That said, I'll be curious to see what flavors I get out of the black label now, having had the green label. If I notice any similarities. See, already the nose is different. Oh, totally. It's a very different whiskey. It's uh, no, I'm it's, getting that grain aspect I'm to it. I'm getting the grain aspect, it's perfumey. Um, it's actually very perfumey. Yeah, it is. Um, like, uh, uh, what was that cologne? Um, maybe like Brute? Brute? Yeah, I think so. That's yeah. funny we both went to the same place. Yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of getting like a little, like a little faint note of that in here. Interesting. Yeah. So I think that's smokier. I think that's smokier and peatier. But I don't think it's as well-rounded. I agree. It's not as flavorful. Mm. It's a little bit more one-dimensional for me. There is a nice smoke to that, though. I will say, um, mm. it's a bit of a different smoke than you would get from your typical Isla. It's not that damp campfire by the ocean. It's like a, it's like fresh burned oak almost. Yeah. For yeah. Me. Interesting. It is interesting. Um, all right, now I'm going back to the green. <laughs> now I'm getting more. Now I'm getting more on the green. I'm, I'm teasing. That teased more flavors out now. Oh man. The so finish. now, yeah, the 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 finish on that. Oh. There's a dessert that that's reminding me of, and I can't think of it. 
I mean, what what comes to mind for me is um, like when we uh, uh, there there's a like a fruit tart that we get, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. there's a like a cream layer on, on that in that. You know, it's like a sweet cream and everything, and uh, that it kind of reminds me of that. It's not a creme brulee. No, you're absolutely right, though. But more like a, almost like an egg custard or a... It's almost like a nut, nutty nature. A little, yeah. I'm only getting it on the exhale through the sinuses, but combined with that desserty kind of note on the finish. Oh, you know what that is? That's cashew. Yep. I am... I am thoroughly impressed. The black label, I'm impressed at that price point and being that accessible and generally accepted that it's as interesting as it is. The green label, I'm just downright shocked. Um, that is a deep, complex whiskey. It's not dark. It's not foreboding. It's not stormy or anything of that nature, but there's a lot going on flavor-wise, and if you keep going back to it, you can keep getting a little bit more. Right. It's, yeah, it's, um, it's bright, you know. Um, I, I don't want to go as far to say it's cheery, but mm. it's, but it's bright. Mm -hmm. I mean, for an island whiskey. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I think this would, I think you could drink this on a, a winter night. I think you could drink this on a summer night. Agreed. No, it's pretty well balanced as far as that's concerned. I, I, you know, I think the reason it surprises me so much is I, I guess my impression of Johnny Walker has been that they always kind of tend towards the safe side, the more appealing to the mass market side. Right. This is not one of those. Right. Well, I, well, I think also in, in our journey, it, it took us a while to get here to maybe appreciate Good point. What, what they put in that bottle. No, that's a very good point. And look, somebody that's used to Johnny Red or Johnny Black, perhaps this might be a little bit too far astray because mm -hmm. it does, it's an island whiskey. There's no doubt about it. Now, they have smoothed over a lot of rough edges that you oftentimes will get with an Isla whiskey or a Talisker. Um, but wow, I am thoroughly impressed. I'm, yeah, that that is uh damn that is that's pretty awesome all right we damn. got a scale one to five what do you think four and a half four and a half yeah i can't believe i just said that yeah i'm down <laughs> i'm down it's yeah. uh yeah it's not quite a five for me yet, yeah but man it is just brushing up against it well when you compare it to other blends it's really impressive what they've done now if you want to compare it to single malts that's a bit of a different animal but compared to other blends i am thoroughly impressed and just as a good whiskey to sip that introduces you to the islands that's a uh, they've pulled off a hell of a thing here I, I think they have um and i think this one this particular one might beat out some compass boxes for me too. I could kind of see that. Not all of them, but yeah. certainly, no, there certainly, a, certainly a bunch of them. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. There are a few where I could see this one kind of leapfrogging over them. I would take this over the Pete Monster any day. I think I'm with you on. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. Yeah, I'd probably yeah. take it over the Spaniard. I probably would not take it over the Hedonism. Yeah, no, I'm wholeheartedly agree. The Hedonism is, own, is its own thing, and that is a thing of beauty. Um, again, the fact that they've gotten all these island whiskeys in here, you get all those different flavors, but there's no sharp edges. It's just pleasant. Really? And the sweetness. I know. It's, oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good job, Johnny Walker. I got to say, I've, I definitely underestimated them based on what's on this bottle. Very good. Well, we, God. Yeah. Good. Great one. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Hope you had a good time. We sure did. We'll Take catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Son of a bitch.